Hello everybody, I'm Spark249, welcome to episode 32 of Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon. Now seeing as we beat the Sorceress in the last episode, we've unlocked the fourth and final Sparks world. Just before you kicked the Sorceress's big, fat, ugly butt, she built a factory to make robotic bugs to fight Sparks. But I don't think they're any match for him. Is Sparks that much of a threat that she built a factory to manufacture things for the sole purpose of killing Sparks? Okay, okay, I'm just going to accept that. It's the last episode where we're ever going to be playing as Sparks. So, get straight on with it. Ah, where are the enemies? Oh, here's one. Aha! Now, if you remember, during the tutorial of Crawdad Farm, they taught you how to chase after an enemy. This is the only Sparks world you need to do that in. Can I just shoot you? There we are. things are there? There's pro- oh I got hit. There's probably a spawner. Oh yes, now the spawner's actively trying to kill me. It's when the bait- oh dear. It's when the basic enemy spawner is the big threat that you start worrying. There we go, I killed him. Health butterfly. No guy needs to shoot. I'm shooting him to knock the key out of his hands so that he'll try and get back to the key, which then gives me an opportunity to charge towards him and steal it. What the heck are you? Ah, he apparently has extremely limited range. So, ah! It's easy enough to kill. Hey, a power up butterfly. I could do with this. Oh, should have grabbed that after. Should have grabbed it afterwards. There's an invincibility power up. Come on, where's the spawner? Oh. And there we go. We cleared out most of this main room. Gotcha. Mine. Okay, which door opens? Not you! Oh, it's going to be the yellow area. Oop, lag. This one. You done, lag? So, opening the door releases a spawner. And a key. This key looks like it's lightly tinted red. No? Is that just the crazy talk? Yes, the one that looks like it's lightly tinted red in fact opens the... Ah! Stop doing that! Ah, I got hit. Hey, power up butterfly. This is an actual attack as well. That was easy. I believe also that having Sparks' third power-up, uh, upgrade rather, um, or, even though it gives Spyro an extra hit point, I believe it also ever so slightly gives Sparks more health in these worlds. Whoa! I want to save some special attacks for the boss, who's actually on the other side of this skate here. Where are they going? Come on, I know you're down there. Oh, you're one of those ones that moves. And now you're one of those ones that's dead. No. No. Okay, we're going to do this diagonally. And there we go. Ooh. 
You need to die in quick. Well, they're learning more tactics. Okay. He, he looked just confused then. Hey, that's every gem. Uh, he looked just confused at that voice. He's like, ah, where do I go? Sparks is going to catch me. Okay, the boss. I've never beaten this guy in one attempt, ever. As you can see, I'm useless to this boss fight. Um, his only weak point is the head on top. And once you damage him sufficiently, he'll start splitting up. Think of it like the boss in Fireworks Factory. Also, all these enemies are casually watching you on the arena. And, oh dear, I'm dying. Come on, you haven't got that much health left. But staying behind them is a good way to not get shot. Hey, you're nearly dead, and so am I. This is going to be a very close fight. Dang it. Okay, I died. And this time I don't have a special attack. There we go, I'll split him up. I think he might split if you destroy one of his middle sections. If you've ever played a very old game called Centipede, uh, that concept might seem familiar. If Sparks has always had this built-in machine gun, why does he never use it in normal levels? Oh, he has to have so much health left. Oh no, wait, I'm looking at the wrong health bar. No, he has next to no health left. This is a good thing. Ah! Ah! They just took away half my health in about two seconds. And there's another bit of my health. Okay, I'm gonna die after one more hit. Help, help, help. Come on. Right, I'm just gonna concentrate on not getting hit, because if I get hit it again, I have to do it this fight again. On the other hand, these guys do not have a lot of health remaining. Help, 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 help. Come on, he's nearly dead. Ah! Attempt three. I'm sure there's a much smarter way of going about this fight, but now I'm just going to focus on the one until I've killed it entirely. Staying close and just attempting to dodge. Okay, he hit me once, but that's not a big issue. Come on, if I can kill the one part, then I'll only have one of these guys to deal with. Ah, take that. Okay, he's nearly down. But so am I. 
Come on, come on. You have next to no health left. Oh, come on! There we go! Don't you start looping around on me. Right, we're both all next to no health again. It's had even more so this time. Oh! And he's dead, finally! We've saved Annabelle. Another tiny little dragon trapped in the world of sparks. And now not only is it level complete, but once I exit this portal, I will open well and I will sort of speak to Zoe and learn Sparks' new ability. Or should I say Nico abilities? Saved Nico's extra magic because it gave Sparks two new abilities. Now he can break open treasure chests and using the atlas, he can warp you to any level. Just select the level you want and press the square button. Yep, so now Sparks can, under his own power, shatter uh, barrels and vases, urns, whatever you want to call them. And he can also, using the atlas, as I'm about to show you after I regain a little bit of health, There we are, back up to Golden Halo Sparks. If I pull open the Atlas, you can see that Sparks Worlds, the entire category is turned golden, meaning it is fully complete. And as you can see down there, press square to warp to any level. So uh, that's we're done with Sparks Worlds then. We've learned all the Sparks abilities, even though one of them isn't working for me. And uh, yeah guys, next episode we'll begin cleanup, which is when I return to every level which I haven't yet fully completed, and well, grab the remaining gems and eggs and fully complete them. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode guys, I'm Spark249, um, have fun!